Right, good afternoon. Um, I've just watched Danny Claxton's um, video on making mushrooms. I sent her a chunk of my dyed velvet. It's absolutely stunning, Annie. Bravo, well done. Um, we both watched, I'm pretty sure it was as well, Annie, uh, we watched Claire Cousins uh, do her version and that's kind of what inspired this. Um, yeah, she used sort of space dyed velvet and that's why I ended up doing my own because you can buy it, but it's blooming expensive. So, um, yeah, um, this was my first attempt. It is not brilliant. I'm not even going to say it is, <laughs> but I had fun making it and sussing it out, really. So mine's a short, stumpy one. Um, I did stuff the top. Again, go and watch Anne, Annie's um, video. Also watch Claire's. I, I say I'll put links to both these people on, on underneath um, because they both do it in very different ways. I thought Annie's idea of doing a giant Suffolk puff to make the gills was brilliant. Um, I have got the um, Clover 90 millimeter, nine centimeter yo-yo maker, and um, I, I say I've made up some kits, but the this piece that I provide as the underneath. Um, this is too big for it, so um, because I tried it here and that was too big. But what you could do is you could cut a circle or do like Annie did and use full width of fabric, a slither of it, gather both sides um, and do it that way. Again, please go and watch Anne's video because it is it's brilliant, Annie. Absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, so this was it was miles too big for this template that I cut here but you could obviously adjust it just because I'm providing this size you know you do you you don't have to you don't have to follow my sizing at all the um the one that I supply for the top there is plenty of wiggle room you'd easily get three of those out of this piece of velvet um but there's plenty of room that you could do it slightly bigger um Annie turned hers under the velvet I did mine raw edge it hasn't really hasn't um uh, shredded that much so yeah I did my raw edge um, but yeah Anne's idea of uh, doing the gills was really really good of uh, you know doing the gathering and that so again go and watch her video uh, so I have put some kits together because um, I just thought I would <laughs> um, my hand dyed thread which does kind of go with the um, the velvet there's approximately 10 metres. I did 81 rounds, basically. <laughs> so it was approximately 10 metres because I did measure out the first one and then I sat and had a bit of therapy and just, you know, did the rest in front of the TV, basically. Um, yeah, so... Uh, right, let me just run through what's actually going to be... So there's going to be... I mean, it's cut out of Amazon packaging, so we've got a bit of recycling going on here. This does make that kind of size mushroom... Um, I didn't actually measure how big that was. Let me just grab my ruler. Oh, actually, I better get inches as well for people that work in inches, two sacks. Um, right, so it's eight, well, eight and a bit centimetre. Well, it's almost eight and a half, I would say, probably. Well, it's nearly nine centimetres, yeah. So nine centimetre circle, um, uh, which is about three and a half inches you can make it as big as you like you don't have to do it to this size you might want to do smaller ones and you'd get even more smaller ones out of there I just put those in just for because that's the size that I used um, if you watch Claire's video um, she uses the cardboard underneath here makes a hole in this bottom bit and stuffs everything through and then you pleat the the gills from there um, I think I preferred Annie's version because it had a lot more pleats in it and that is hand gathering um, a full width of fabric strip. So I don't know what width it was. It looked like it was about three inches, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what width Annie did in the end. Just trying to think. Because you need to have enough that it definitely gathers at the bottom to make your gills. And comes over here but this it doesn't yeah it literally just needs to cover that so I'd have thought three inches would be plenty enough 
yeah definitely so if you'd cut the full width of fabric by three inches the reason i'm not providing that is because you might want to do a purple one like annie did so um yeah so you get the that's the sizes i did uh when i did mine i didn't have a load of bits and bobs and blingy bits so um i've now acquired some <laughs> some um so i've made up a bag of um let me tip them out into something and you can see i just got a bit of paper um this is variable uh, i literally just went through pinched and yeah did that so there are gems and these are lovely these are new but they're all they all sew on little um, flower sequins a spoonful of bead soup so there's all sorts in there um yeah you get the idea okay so there's more than enough i would say more than enough for three mushrooms there so all right and then again uh you can just do embroidery stitches um, I did some seed stitches, some wrapped run-in stitch. Um, I also put on some lace, so I'll be put, putting in a little bit of this dyed lace that I did. Well, it's tablecloth, actually. Um, yeah, so I'll put a bit of that in. As I say, I didn't have these when I did mine, so it's not very colourful, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, the embroidery, again, Claire does it on hers. Annie did it on hers. So you can do it once it's stuffed, the stalk. Again, um... For the stalk fabric, I'm actually putting in a, a, a length of, it's called um, Osenberg fabric, which is a really nice, let me just put all these over here. It's a really nice sort of medium weight fabric. It's really lovely to work with, feels amazing. So, gosh, I don't know, I just cut a length. They'll all be the same, uh, but you've got plenty here to make your stalk. If you want to make a really tall one just wrap it into a tube and again watch Annie's video she's shaped it with stitch you can do exactly the same I just made a sausage as you can see <laughs> so, uh, for the gills I'm going to pop in a bit of um, cheesecloth uh, because all you got to do with that is fold it in half and stitch it underneath the mushroom like that do a little running gathering stitch stitch it around the top there and that'll make your little fluffy bits and then just pull this out to your heart's content i've cut it quite raggedly um on purpose so that you know you end up with raggedy raggedy bits okay so you can use this for your gills but i don't think there'll be enough length here but you could give it a go you must have an old bed sheet or pillowcase or something you can easily do it with that so um yeah so basically the kit will be the Osenberg fabric which again is lovely to work with and it's got little bits in it but it's a perfect mushroom color mushroom stalk color i thought anyway so there's a piece of that piece of velvet um this again will vary because it's i'm just cutting it off the um chunk that i've got basically um some of the uh, cheesecloth to make your frilly gills with and then, um, as I say, it's approximately 10 metres, 81 rounds <laughs> of my hand dyed um, perlé cotton. So it's really nice, really, really nice. And um, two lots of templates. Again, make your own. Use these to make your own if you want, you know. Um, stuffing and that, um, you know, I'm sure people have got plenty of stuffing in places that, you know, um, if you haven't, if you're new to stitching and you haven't got any stuffing, um, hang on, let me just um, put this to one side, otherwise it's going to go everywhere. Um, a pair of old socks. Um, that's it, empty. Uh, yeah, you'll find something, something to stuff it with. The, it's only for the stalk. Uh, Annie didn't stuff her top, I did. I put a, some wadding in there. Again, you know, she made hers quite flat, so that's fine. Just, you know, make yours flat. Um, yeah. So I just thought I'd come on, because I say I've just watched Anne's video, and she's in that, she's saying that, you know, um, I was talking about, thinking about making up some kits, and I thought, well, do you think anybody will want them? So, I don't know. Um, I put a link to Kofi, where I'll have these on there. Um, they'll be, I'm just trying to think, will they go as a large letter? 
if I if I carefully layer all this, it will go as a large letter UK and international. Yeah, I've got a bit more. I could spread them out a little bit. Weight wise, they're going to be over a hundred grams. So I'm going to say UK postage is going to be two pound. The kits are going to be seven quid. I think that's a fairly good price. Um, I'll be doing all the cutting and stuff. So. So £7 for the fabric kit like this, you'll have to provide your own gill fabric and your own stuffing and obviously your own embroidery threads. All right. If you're absolutely stuck for all of this, if you haven't got any embroidery thread, thread or stuffing, please just contact me and I can put together a more advanced or enhanced kit if you like. Um, and I'll have to work out price because I'll put in full skeins of, um, although you've got this, you could you could embroider with that. So, you know, you don't need all the fancy colours. But anyway, just be in contact. Um, yeah, so UK postage, I'm probably going to go into the £2.10p because it's going to be, I'm pretty sure. Let me just go and get my scales and find out for you. Right, yeah, I've put, I've packaged it now, so it'll definitely go as a large letter, UK and US as well. So let's just see how much this weighs. If it's under 100 grams. Oh, it will. Cool. Okay, so... Um, US a standard large letter is four pound fifty. Uh, UK it's one pound fifty five. Okay, that's second class um, large letter. So yeah, let me know if you fancy a kit. Let me know and I'll put some more together. I've only got one done at the minute. <laughs> so um, did I put the foot base in there? Uh, yeah, just let me know and um, you too can get mushroom in. Um, Annie did say about making them into. Um, pin cushions which is a cracking idea um, I think Claire does says about that as well so I don't think I put in the lace so I put that in it's not going to make much difference because it was only 69 grams so that's all good um, yeah so all you need to provide is your stuff in and as I say uh, looking at Anne's, Annie's measurements I keep calling you Anne it's Annie I've got an Anne <laughs> um, it looked like full width of fabric basically so and about three inches i reckon and that should do it it's a little bit sort of play it you know wing it basically and and just make your own little little mushroom um but yeah so seven pounds one pound 55 postage in the uk four pound 50 in international that's it um i'm not going to make one because you know annie's done a cracking job mine was a bit like meh because I didn't have me um me uh, fancy doodads, but I have now. As I say, I love the way that Annie's came out, much more um, pleated than this one. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's all good. But go and check out Claire's as well. As I say, I'll link both. Check them both out and see which method you prefer the, the, the best. I followed Claire's where you stuff it all up in there. Go and watch her video. You'll see it. Um, Yeah, that's it. I'll let you go. All right, take care. Bye.